Hello, this is William McKissick with Schooly Mitchell, your expense reduction specialist. And word of caution, as I've always said in the last few videos, this isn't my day job, but this is me helping the community, help promote other businesses and do some good in the community. And today I have with me Eric Bunch. Eric, welcome to the show. Hey, William. Well, thank you for having me. Um, for the viewers, I want to tell you a little bit about Eric. Eric is a photographer and a fantastic video production specialist based here in the Tampa Bay area in Florida. His company is called NTP2. So Eric, as a first question, tell me what does NTP stand for and where does that name come from? Uh, so I actually got started in the photography uh, industry and in sales and product sales. And so my grandfather started a independent photography store in 1972, and he actually worked at one in downtown Tampa. It was called Tampa Photography. And from the stories I've heard, the owner was not really everyone's favorite person. Uh, my grandfather was favorite amongst all the clients. And so the owner made my grandfather mad enough one day where he went out and he went and bought his own property and he started North Tampa Photography. And Tampa Photography closed within two years. And in the 90s, uh, my grandfather's store was the largest Kodak supplier on the entire East Coast. Wow. And so that's how I got started in the photography industry was working there, running the store. And then I started my business of actually being a professional photographer and videographer. What a really cool story. You said before we started that it was a cool story. I'm so glad I asked that question. So, Eric, tell me a little bit more about what you do as a video production specialist. Explain to the, any viewers how it works. Yeah, so it's, it's basically divided into to two divisions. So there's the commercial side, and then there's the personal side. So commercial side is headshots, marketing material, social media, product shots, maybe corporate events, award ceremonies. And then the personal side is family portraits, weddings, anniversaries, uh, senior portraits, uh, any kind of moment where they want that captured. So that's the two different divisions that I do. So what does the process look like from hiring your services to actually producing the materials, whether it be commercial or residential? Explain what that looks like right from the start and to the end product. You know, it's, it's, uh, I, I have a process that I like to do, uh, as far as how I take the clients through, through the process, but really with, with constantly things that are adapting and technology adapting, you know, one of the first things I always try to do is I always try to talk to them verbally and that's becoming a little bit different. So depending on the service, uh, I might actually talk to the person or they might just send me a message and tell me a date. And, and give me a credit card and everything's good to go. Uh, but on the business side, on the branding side, which is where I spend a lot of my time these days, is basically the processes that reach out to me. We do a creative phone call. So what we do is I spend time researching them and their business so that way I can learn what makes them unique. And then once we do the creative phone call, I've got a series of uh, questionnaires that I ask them and then that helps me to identify what their target market is. Who's their best client? Uh, what part of town do they want to focus on? What kind of impression do they want to make on the community? And so that helps me with scheduling these different locations. And whether it's a photo photography session or video, then I know where we need to do that at. Fantastic. So anybody watching this, you can clearly see, Eric, that, that you have a, a very stringent process to make sure that whether it's a residential or a business client, they get what they need. Um, and, and that's very important. Um, actually taking care of the customer, making sure that they, they get that, that service at the end result that they're looking for. So you touched on residential and commercial. Um, obviously, you do both, but what's the kind of percentage? What's that mix of residential and, and, and commercial? Or is it fairly even tell it tell the viewers a little bit more please uh it's it's not not even a uh, majority of it because you figure uh, a lot of the residential side the personal services is going to happen on the weekends versus the commercial the corporate that's happening monday through friday so mm -hmm. it's about a 60 to 40 percent split as i spend most of my monday through friday working with corporate clients and commercial clients and working on their material their videos their headshots, their photo sessions. And then on the weekends, 
you know, like a wedding, I refer to it like, I refer to my, like my side hustle, you know, cause I enjoy doing weddings, which I commonly get told, Oh, you're kind of weird for enjoying it. Like I like the fast pace. I like the challenge of it. Uh, and that, that's what, that's what really keeps me on my toes. And I find that's where some of my best work comes out is when I'm being tested, Mm -hmm. uh, either a fast paced environment or something I haven't done before. And I'm not as familiar with. Uh, so that's normally what, what I, what I enjoy. Uh, so yeah, it's about 60, 60, 40 split. Okay. So, I mean, that's amazing that you, you do have quite a range of services and obviously 60, 40 split commercial residential. So anybody watching this, please get in touch with, with Eric. You can see his details underneath his portion of the video, reach out. He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet as well. Um, and, and, and on that basis, Eric, I, I wanted to say about being a nice guy, um, you do some work in the community, similar to what I'm doing here, helping promote other businesses. Can you tell the viewers a little bit more about, about yourself and what you're doing in the community? Yeah, so I, I tried to give back as much as I can. Uh, my, my dominant behavioral style is I like, and personality styles, I like to give back. Uh, so I try to do that as much as possible. If I could, I would do it all day, every day, but you know, somewhere along the line, my wife says, Hey, you know, you gotta, gotta take care of these bills. So, um, what, what I get involved is, is I'm doing a lot of videos similar to what you're doing with your show. Uh, people have been reaching out. They say, you know, Hey, you've got a presence on social media. Would you please interview me and do this? And, and, uh, since the, uh, kind of the start of the pandemic, I had actually started uh, a couple of Facebook groups just to surround ourselves with positivity. And so I spend some time connecting people with that. Uh, and then I also serve on the board for the Tampa firefighters museum. Uh, my brother was a Tampa firefighter, uh, you know, lost, lost his life in 2015, uh, due to illness. Uh, and so I try to give back and, and the fire community was really good to me and my family, mm -hmm. uh, then during that difficult time. And so I spend, a uh, little bit of time giving back to them uh, at the fire museum. Fantastic. Um, so anybody watching this show, again, please, Eric's details are right underneath him. But you can hear Eric speak. You can tell he's genuinely one of the good guys. He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. But he's also an absolute expert in his field of photography and video production. So I really encourage you, if you want that kind of service, you need that kind of service, you won't, you won't look any further than, than getting Eric's services on board with you. So Eric, thank you very much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Um, I couldn't do this without you, and I know you're doing something similar, so you you understand. So thank you very much. It's 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 most most welcoming to have you here. Thank you, William. And now I will hand it over to Dave for the weather.